In the night of Wednesday, February 16, 1977, Archbishop Janani Luwum was killed by henchmen of President Idi Amin in a move aimed to suppress dissent and criticism over rampant killings and disappearance of citizens. Retired Reverend Canon Lusania Kasamba was a student of Luwum at Sir Samuel Becker Secondary School in Gulu District between 1956 and 1959. You meet him, you, you, you don't... You know, some people say, this is the reverend, now let me walk a bit more carefully. And they begin to trade as if the, the world may break, if the earth may break. But uh, for him, the atmosphere around him was friendly and welcoming. So you go. Me in S1, I had a good time with him. Canon Kasamba recalls how Luwum's determination not to look on in the wake of injustices landed him into trouble. By the, the time the British were leaving, Three quarters of the forces came from these two tribes. The Acholi and the Lani, and, uh, and, uh, and Amin did not like that. So he had, he had to change the, the compo uh, uh, composition of the, uh, the, the forces. And, uh, and so he started the, actually killing them, eliminating them. The one who handled it was Archbishop Loom and uh, raised it. He narrates that following a meeting with Amin at State House in Tebe, Luwum heeded fresh summons and attended a meeting with the president along with other religious leaders at Nile Mansion's now Serena Hotel, a meeting where charges of conspiracy to overthrow government were levied against him. Picked from his house at Namirembe, the Archbishop's Palace, and from Arua we, we had the news that Archbishop Luwum has been arrested because he was found to have some guns in his compound. If he had known Loom as a person, you would actually find it difficult to accept that. A surprised but strong Loom would not know that it was his last night alive, and it was time to meet with the president alone. Having turned down offers to seek refuge abroad, he was ready for all. If I, the shepherd, flee, what will happen to the sheep? I am not afraid in all this. I see the hand of God. He is reported to have said before entering through the door to see Amin. Friday, leading to Saturday, uh, the news came that Ashbis of Loom and uh, some other people with whom they were arrested had been killed in an accident when they were being transferred from one place to another. It shook the whole church of Uganda. And uh, I, I wish you had summons which were preached from pulpits on the following Sunday. The fire. Kasamba says Amin's intelligence network was not done with the Church of Uganda. They were supposed to record and then spot who said what uh, so that the appropriate steps would be taken to them. Then I asked them, I said, then what did you do? He said there was a problem. I said, what problem was it? He said, everybody spoke as if they were from the same base, as if they planned the summons together. While it may be difficult to accurately compare today and the previous tyrannical regimes, there are common calls for government to have dialogue with the opposition to avoid similar happenings. I think leadership means that, that you can listen to even the lowest person and respond. They say the Bobun dynasty learned nothing and actually forgot nothing. I would even say the same thing to Ugandans, especially the political leadership. We have learned nothing and we have forgotten nothing. St. Jana Niluom remains as a moral challenge to all church leaders to reclaim their prophetic voices. Edward Mhumza, NTV.